part is the crazy part, which you know, that ain't really like the craziest part. So fast forward, you know, that the game's on Saturday. On Sunday we have film studies. On Sunday we watching film. After the game, they're interviewing us and stuff like that. Schnelly gets on this interview and say, yeah, he exposed himself. He's out of shape. Like, we got to get him in shape. You know, the way he was running, he don't like he was in shape. He got tired. Because you remember I told you, I stumbled a little bit. So looking at it, I guess he felt like from his angle, I was running out of shape and I couldn't do 100, 100 yards. I'm like, coach, you done watched me do 22 110s. You know I'm in shape. So he said that. He said that to the media. I didn't even know that yet. All right. I did my interview with the media and they was trying to give me credit. I said, man, give credit to the guy who blocked the kick. That's the real work. Picking the ball up and running, anybody can do that. So that's happening. The way the practice schedule went was Sunday we watch film and like do like recovery stretches and stuff. Monday is everybody off. All right. And Tuesday we back in the building. So Tuesday we was back in the building practicing. Wednesday, we didn't have no lights on our field. Wednesday, Snell was like, hey. You, he ain't know nobody name. He 85 years old. Hey, you, come here. He's like, you know you're out of shape. I'm like, coach, what you mean I'm out of shape? He's like, you were running out of gas after you picked up the ball. I'm like, nah, coach, I hit a soft spot of turf. Like, it's, they, they put beach sand right there, you know, to get the grass back up. I'm like, no, we're going to get you in shit. So I'm like, all right. I'm like, put your helmet on, go to the sideline. Gassers. And whenever you say gassers, that means you get on the sideline, you got like 55 seconds to go down, back, down, back, down, back. Some people call them 300 yard shuttles. So, now keep in mind, bro, Snelly is one of those coaches where if you roll your eyes at him, that might be your last day on the team. Like, straight up. Like, you do anything disrespectful to Snelly, we don't play that. Like, that's everybody from the assistant coaches to the players to the cafeteria staff to the equipment staff. Like, we really held him in that much regard. So, I run the first gas, make my time. I'm thinking, I just make my time, I'm done. He was like, okay, we're going to go again. I start spazzing. I'm like, what you mean? I scold. Huh? I'm getting punished for scoring. Feel me? Like, you punishing me, it ain't nothing else I can give you off that place. So I'm yelling, so the strength coach put me over, like, DT, DT, calm down, man, calm down. I'm like, nah, man, he tripping, man, I done scold, and he doing this now, he go. They're like, nah, DT, bro, you know, just learn from it, you know, learn from it, man. Like, he trying, he, he ain't punishing you, bro, like, you know, and, and what they was telling me is like, coach, know this is you now. Like, he know who you are now, but in my mind, I'm like, bro, I got to run these gases, and I scored. Like, I didn't fumble. I didn't drop the ball or nothing. Like, I set the fire that got the team, you know, doing their thing. But all my vets, when I was telling y'all earlier, get you some vets in your ear that tell you something right, all the vets were like, nah, DT, man, we know how you feel, bro, but he's saying something to you. He acknowledging your presence now. Like, he know who you are, and he just wants you to improve. And then shortly after that, he called me, and then he had a meeting. He was like, you know, I like what you're doing. And he described me. He was like, you know, you're the prototypical NFL defensive back. And I was like, all right, you know, I like that. So it was like encouraging words. But, you know, I just found it real crazy that I'm getting punished for it. And then we had the tight end the very next week. Got drafted by the Browns. He fell. He, like, he got shot out the sky in the same spot. Like, he had caught, like, a screen and was just running. But like I said, it was because we shared the field. But, yeah, like, that was that. Like, I got punished for my first highlight as a Division One college football player. And I, I just... And then, you know, the highlight, like I said, it was a created moment. It wasn't even supposed to, like, I kind of manifested that. Like, number one, the guy didn't even score. Like, I, I can show you the film right now. The ball never broke the plane. But I said, nah, forget it, give it to him, man, we finna block the kick. So yeah, I was just like a real, like, manifestation, like, come to Jesus type moment. And like, looking back at it, I do appreciate him just caring enough to even reprimand me to some degree. I still totally disagree with the idea to punish a play after they scored. But, you know, he won enough championships, so maybe he knew something that I didn't know. So that's how that went.